Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at the Maxpedition uh, Operators ATSJ case. But this bag is great for EDC, it's a great range bag. Uh, one of the things that I really like about this is when you travel and you're able to actually put a nice laptop in here, put all the different gear you need, whatever you've got, you can actually use this as an admin bag. So we're going to take a look at all the features and uh, it sure does have a lot. Now there's a ton of different features that this bag does have and they're just some of the different compartment sizes. Really you can go to maxpedition.com and get all that information. It does fit a nice laptop and I think about a 15 inch laptop. We're going to first look at the outside pockets and then I'm going to work my way in. But for one thing this is coated in a DuPont Teflon finish, it's triple poly coat and we're going to look at some waterproofing ability of this bag itself. It's resistant to, cr to grime and resistant to staining. And uh, never wash this bag, you always take and just rub it off if you have a stain on it. So first thing we're going to look at is a small little pocket on the outside. Of course this is great for a small ID that you want to put in here, something you want to look at. You can put a name tag in here, rises up, and then you have a small pouch uh, in here as well. And of course Here's a uh, look at this larger pouch with the small. That's one of the things about Maxpedition that's really cool is it's always, there's so many different little pouches to get you organized. And you know, really you don't have to use all these, but it really makes it nice to have that availability. Uh, of course, you have your small pouches here that are just open and uh, great for keeping things organized. Then we have this small lip pouch here. Uh, it does have a hook and loop field, which is great for the Velcro patches. Uh, you know, like for what we're using it for, it would be great to get a little medical cross to put on here. One of the things, of course, um, that I like to put is my suit. <laughs> Just keeps it identified. But, you know, whatever you want to put on here, it makes it really nice. Personalizes it. Inside, you can see it has some elastic bands. Uh, there's four loops, and then you have a large compartment here. One of the things that I like about this bag that is not on the multi-purpose bag or MPB is, of course, you have this D-ring, open it up, and you have you a concealed carry option here. Of course, you can get one of the universal um, holsters that go in and keep, keep your firearm in here if you want to keep it secret. Or you can actually put anything in there, a value, something that nobody would look for because it's real easy to overlook this little... A velcro pouch. Now the velcro on this bag is really high grade velcro. They're not chintzy with putting the, the fields, the pile fields on here and it's really nice. Here we have a, another option for water, for a water bottle and even a, an elastic with shock cord and then a pull tab with velcro and you can put your bottle here. Of course it has grommets and then you have a nice, another nice D-ring for your strap. This is a small keeper, little snap. Nothing's been overlooked on these bags, I'm telling you. This has a, a nice strap itself. It has a pad. This is adjustable. The strap itself is adjustable. But you can also carry it with this carry handle, which this has a rubberized coating on it. And of course, uh, it's double. And this double webbing goes all the way around the bag. See? It goes through here. And then also on the inside, it goes through and surrounds it. So you're not going to lose this. These straps are secure. This is actually another water bottle on this other side. Uh, it is a little bit larger even. So uh, you have a nice, you have nice options even for a radio if you want to put a radio. First on the under underside of the bag, there's a protective panel here to keep your bag from, from water soaking into it. And also gives you some protection the uh, grommet here with a small field. This really is specifically for the water bottle. This one even it does not have a grommet and really is specifically made for a radio even though it still can be used for a water bottle. These are a thousand denier ballistic nylon and just an amazing bag. here. This also makes a great bag for law enforcement to keep you organized in your car and all the things that law enforcement keep in their car uh, their counterparts to the civilian side of keeping things in your car for different things if you're on business and if you travel at all this is a great bag to be able to keep yourself organized and have a few of the extras for survival in your bag 
at all times. Okay, on the other side, it's just a big flat panel, double zippers. These are paracord pulls, of course, and YKK zippers, which are very nice. And uh, another little tab here. So this is another keeper, nice organizer, has this sleeve with three pouches, and then it has a large pouch in the back. Of course, here, you, again, you can see the uh, cord for the handle that's going on around. Has a Fastex buckle right here, it's adjustable. It's gonna be opened up, very roomy. One thing about this outer pouch, you can see from the underneath that it gives you about two to three inches of packing this out. This is padded. So you have a layer of padding here, you have another layer of padding on the other side, and then the inside is also padded. So great for a laptop or valuables that you don't want to, um, that you want to protect. Maxpedition's logo right here, stitched in, and also on the other side. Of course, this is a triple polyurethane coat, and because of that, it is impervious to water. It just goes right off. Brush it, it does not soak into the material. If you have webbing or seams, it can soak in a little bit there, but these have even been backed. Of course, we're gonna look at the inside of the bag as well. Has two of these keepers. You can use this. I use this for my, um, my tripod, but you can use it for a large flashlight or other things that go right here. Has double YKK zippers, so you can bring these zippers together, pull them out this way. Nice, roomy compartment. It'll be very friendly to anything. It's not going to do any scratching or anything, possibly to a firearm or something like that. But we have this panel that goes into the middle. But this is removable. And then on here, you have some admin pouches here and here. A nice, large field of uh, hook and loop where you can put your holster or whatever. There are a lot of different uh, accessories that you can put on these hook and loop fields. While we have it out, of course, there's a large field of Velcro uh, uh, plush on the bottom. And again, everything is padded, even the sides. Here you have your shock cords that go to your keepers on the outside. Just an excellent quality. Just to give you an idea of size, just the compartment itself is about, just a little over 16, about 16 and a half inches on the outside. I think it's 15 and a half on the inside is what it actually uh, gives you for dimensions and then as far as the height goes it's about 11 and a half inches in height width even with all the pockets and these are not full this thing is empty it's about eight inches so it just gives you an idea of the feel of this bag one thing i want to do is i want to compare it to an earlier review that i did on the uh, multi-purpose bag and it's a real similar bag just different features and here is the multi-purpose bag itself not much difference in size. I think one of the main things is a little bit narrower on the uh, operator's attache. But the, this multi-purpose bag is with me all the time. I mean, it, I keep all my stuff in it. Anytime I'm traveling, I can put all my gear in here and it really functions well. Uh, there's only a couple of real big differences and one is, are these big panels. This, the multi-purpose bag just has flat panels, whereas the operator's bag has small pockets on the outside to be able to access different things. Also, there's a double zipper on the multi-purpose bag, whereas on the operator's attache, it's just one zipper. I do like the smaller handle better on the operator's than this larger one. It's harder to close on that Velcro. You can look at the video that I did on this, the review, and you know, if, you, if you're interested in this, of course, this color, this comes in other colors as well, but um, that's just one of the things that's very close to comparison. Now these bags do come in a number of colors. Of course, this is the black. It also comes in a foliage, which this is the foliage, and it comes in a, a number khaki, olive drab. It comes in an a, a ACU uh, camouflage color. So check these out. Also, there are different sizes to these. I think the aggressor attache is the larger version of this and they have the tactical attache and of course one of my favorites is the uh, MPB or the the uh, multi-purpose bag. The operator's attache case is really an awesome bag 
You know, I do a lot of Maxpedition gear reviews, and I want to tell you, uh, it is one of the most requested gear reviews that I do. I want to say thanks to Tim over at Maxpedition.com for providing uh, some of the, the bags that I do for review. And uh, I'm going to tell you, if you ever pick up a Maxpedition bag, it will be your favorite. They are super high quality and well worth every penny you spend on it. As always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more fun gun reviews and sensible survival. God bless America. Long live the Republic. For a uh, field range, field flipping, flipping range, flipping range. This is by request from not only my wife, uh, not only my wife, but thousands of others.